What's the perfect amount to start investing in stocks now? Let's find out. Investing in stocks is a crucial step in building wealth, especially these days. When you think about it, the earlier you start, the more time that your money has to grow and the sooner that you'll reach your financial goals. A lot of people want to invest in the stock market, but they are held back by a common dilemma. How much do I need to start? Now I've heard people say, I don't have enough money to invest or I need to save more before I can start investing. Fears like that are understandable, but they often prevent people from taking that first step. And let's be honest, Getting started with investing can be intimidating, especially when you're not sure how much you need to begin with. You might think that you need thousands of pounds to start investing, or dollars, wherever you are, but is that really the case? I have met people who are hesitant to invest because they think they don't have enough money, and it's holding them back from actually getting started on that financial journey. Now, there is this mindset that you need to have a lot of money to start investing, but is that really true? What if I told you that you can start investing with less than you think? Now, when it comes to deciding how much to invest, there are different viewpoints. A lot of experts say that you should start with a lump sum, and a lot of others will recommend that you invest a fixed amount regularly. Now, I've heard people say that you should invest as much as possible and as soon as possible, and other people are arguing that you should start small and gradually increase your investment amount. Now, personally, I increase regular amounts each month and I've met people who started investing with just a few hundred dollars or pounds and they've actually seen their money grow over time. On the other hand, I've also met people who invested a large sum of money at once and they've seen significant returns. So what is the ideal amount to start investing in stocks? Well, a key insight that I've learned in my journey is that starting small can be more beneficial than not starting at all. When you start small, you're more likely to actually continue investing and that's what matters most. It's not about how much you invest, but about developing the habit of regularly investing some money. So look at little old me who had no idea what I was doing. In the last year, I've made a massive dent into my investment strategies by doing a little often. And I've made 10 times the amount that I would have made than just using a savings account. Small amounts over a year amounts to massive investments. So what is holding you back from making your first investment? Is it the fear of not having enough money? Or is it the uncertainty of not knowing where to start? So whatever it is, I really wanted to make this video to encourage you that it's never too late to start. You can start small and gradually increase your investment amount over time. So here's a question. What's the ideal amount to start? Well, that is actually a personal decision. It depends on your individual financial circumstances. You can start with a small number that you don't mind risking and you can take it from there. How much can you spare a month that you wouldn't mind losing if it falls that month? But it could go up the next month and you get it all back. Do you have £5 a month? Why not try and turn that into £50 a month? What's most important is that you make that first step and you actually start investing regardless of how much you have. Thank you all for watching and let me ask you this, what do you think is the ideal amount to start investing in stocks? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about investment strategies that I used, you can check out my video where I'll be sharing some of my practical tips and experience on what I did to get started with stock investing. I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye.